Hey everyone, uh, today is instructional, but it's also more of like a public service uh, announcement type of thing. When you go to report a problem, listen, we all have, we all, when we start off, we all need help, a lot of help. Sometimes I still even need help. So when you're asking for help in a form in Facebook, okay, for resin printing, there are a couple of things that a lot of people don't do, which actually frustrates me, although I'm very nice when I reply and I never mention this, uh, I'm sure it gets a lot of people upset, and so we might as well learn what to do when you have a problem. So you're going to people, I'm going to people when I go on Facebook, and I'm basically begging, asking for help from the community. So I'm asking people to spend their time to answer my questions and help solve my problems. So the least I could do is provide all the information necessary that someone who has the knowledge to help me can actually diagnose my problem, you know, make a coherent evaluation of what's going on what may be wrong with my print and actually help me so these are the things that you absolutely should do when you're posting for help on your resin printer one type of printer you have two screenshot your resin settings and by that i mean the one that shows your exposure time uh your layer height all that stuff let us know what type of resin you're using because different resins have different exposure times for people who are newer and don't know that and also screenshot your model in the slicer just as it was when you printed it that gives us a lot of information and then make sure you also have a photo of the failed print or the problem so many people post just trying to describe their problem without any pictures and again even pictures aren't enough you need screenshot your resin settings screenshot the model in the slicer give us a picture of the failure mention your printer your resin and it might even be relevant to people who are newer sometimes the temperature of the room you're in when you're printing that affects your resin performance in case people don't know so if you can even include that also because some failures are simply because people are printing in a room that's too cold so if you give us all this information then helpful people like me and there's a lot of very very helpful very nice people on the forums will actually take the time out of their day to actually help you get better prints, but you need to help us help you. So when I'm doing it, I try to post all this information, my problem, you should also, if it's something wonky, like you have, uh, your printer's making a weird noise or the maybe your, your Z rod is moving, or whatever weird thing you might have that you think is very much out of the ordinary, don't just describe that, grab your phone, video it with audio so that we can see and hear the problem and then if we can help you, we will help you. But it, it gets a little frustrating. You start to not want to help people. Even as new people, you still need to give people information to help you. Otherwise, you post, you have this problem. Then people have to post, what's your resin settings? Then you post that. Then I go and post, hey, send me a picture of the model in the slicer so I can see what it looks like. So I'm not being critical of people who do this because you don't know. Because I think probably the first few times I asked for help, I didn't realize what information I fully needed to give. So I'm just trying to give instructions to people. So when you do our problems with your resin printer and you're asking for help from the community, uh, we all go in hopefully humble and we're, we're basically begging for help. So if you want people to spend time to help you, make it at least make it easier for them to help you, right? So if you put all this information out there, there'll be tons of helpful people who will try to diagnose your problem and help you. And that's it for today. And if you need just general help before you ask questions, if you watch my videos, It'll, it'll eliminate a lot of the questions you need to ask and a lot of the failures you will have if you look at my videos on uh, you know supporting your models properly and all that good stuff. So anyway, uh, hopefully everyone will stick to these guidelines when they're posting their problems uh, you know, like I try to do and I think a lot of people do this. But for newer people, make sure you provide all this information when you have a problem and I guarantee you, you will get your help. So uh, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe and hope to see you all again soon.